fierce battles of 65th Brigade soldiers of Ukraine with Russians in Zaporizhia. Ukrainian soldiers from the 65th Separate Mechanized Brigade conducted a successful attack in the Tokamak Orykiv area and captured enemy positions. Fragments of the soldiers' assault were published on social media. Impressive footage of the combat work of the soldiers of the 65th Brigade. The assault on the occupiers' positions in the area between Robotyne and Novoprokopivka in the Tokamak Orykiv direction. Our defenders are using mortars and kamikaze drones. As a result, several units of destroyed occupants' equipment and a replenished exchange fund were captured, the author of the publication said in a comment. The Russian army is losing so many soldiers on the front lines in Ukraine that it is likely struggling to recruit enough new ones to replace its losses, according to military experts. The Institute for the Study of War drew its assessment from casualty and recruitment members shared by Ukraine over the last months, as well as from the intensity of the fighting across the front lines. Russian forces lost almost 11,000 soldiers in the area around the eastern towns of Kupiansk, Lyman and Bakhmut in November, Vladimir Fityo, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian Ground Forces Command, said, according to Ukrainian state broadcaster Suspilny, Based on this number and the intensity of the fighting on that axis, the ISW estimated that Russian casualty rates in neighboring Avdiivka could be even higher, given the higher operational tempo there. About 5,000 Russian troops were killed or wounded in that area between October the 10th and 26th, Ukrainian military spokesperson Alexander Stupun said in late October at the height of a bloody campaign that saw Russia launch two waves of assaults on Avdiivka per the ISW. And with Russia throwing more soldiers into mass infantry-led assaults to take Avdiivka, the risk is that its forces will suffer even greater manpower losses, the ISW said. Further south, Russian forces have suffered significant casualties with more than 1,200 soldiers killed and over 2,200 injured on the left bank of the Dnipro River between October the 17th and November the 17th, the Ukrainian general staff said.